Hello. I keep, like, checking everything because I know I'm forgetting something. And I don't know what it is. But, um, I'm sure I'll remember in, like, an hour. Um, got the important stuff. How is everybody doing? No casualties today. Who's in here? Allie? Mike? Orc? Hello! You know what's weird is I thought I would be able to, like, use my own emotes, but I don't see them. Maybe it's just that they haven't quite synced yet. I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, not yet, Orc, but, like, probably soon, because I just assume that this game is gonna... gonna I don't think we're all gonna make it out, but we'll, we'll see. Um... But yeah, I'm really excited about this game. Uh, I played Shelter 2 a couple of days ago. Um, this is the studio's newest game that released today. Um, it looks like it has a very similar like style and engine to Shelter 2, uh, but this one's about elephants and it seems to have more of like a group dynamic. Like you're not just controlling one character, it's like multiple characters. So I'm very curious to know what that will be like. Let me go ahead. I am excited to dive in, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and start a new game. Um, yes, new game. I tried to set up a controller, and it like kind of worked. So I'm just, but but like not fully. Like I couldn't navigate menus, but I could like move around. So I'm just gonna use a keyboard. Um, just to just to save the hassle. I remember what I forgot to do. I forgot to make my bed. Oh well. It's just gonna be messy. My sight fails me and many of our number numbers have been lost along the way. But Riva and I have learned where we are, for, our, for over the mountain, beyond water, stone, and sand. Paths from ancient memories appear to me, pointing the way. Led with, uh, led, lead me with Riva. And reunite our herd. I subscribed at tier three. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Enjoy those emotes. Those new burbs. Oh, look at the elephants. Look at how many of... how many there are. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, I can run? Ah, I got a whole herd! Oh, if I press if I press spacebar, they all come together. Hey, Paladin. Welcome in. Oh my God, this is so cute. Can I zoom in? Okay, I can zoom in a little bit. I'm tempted to just like kind of run, but I I get the impression that I'm supposed to be very leisurely.
Is this like checking on the herd? I can like click to see how everybody's feeling. It looks like I'm, I'm mainly controlling this black one. You're playing D&D, &D, so you're going to lurk, but this looks amazing. Oh, thank, thank you so much, Paladin. I really appreciate that. I wouldn't have been able to have done it without all y'all. Mike just subscribed with Prime. Oh, thank you so much. I hope the emotes work. Oh, I can't I can't call everybody into the water. Can I drink? Is there like a Oh, they're playing. Oh, Paladin just cheered 100 bits. Oh, thank you so much. You all are so sweet. Okay. And Allie subscribed to tier one. Oh my god, you guys. You guys are amazing. I'm like so distracted that I like can't figure out what I'm supposed to be doing in the game. Okay, that, all right. E is to drink. <laughs> we drink with E. <laughs> Wait, was that a hype train? What? That's so cool. So there's this this wavy bar at the bottom. Yeah, where are the birds? I've set up emotes. You guys should get emotes. I can check real quick. I want to make sure you all get your emotes. Let me pause this. Let me take a quick look. It's weird. It says they're there. An orc just subscribed. Oh, thank you. I don't know where your emotes are. Um... What if I just type it in? Nope. I don't know why it's not. Sorry, y'all. I hope that it's just like a timing thing and maybe like they haven't, yeah, maybe they haven't been approved yet. Like, I, it doesn't say it's like waiting to be approved. That's such a bummer. Um, hmm. I guess I guess we'll just keep playing. They should be auto approved. You're right. You're right, Mike. All right. Well, I guess we'll just we'll just roll with it. I'm sorry. I'm really bummed out. I like had them all ready in advance and was super excited.
All right, well, elephants, how are we doing? Everyone seems pretty happy. Turn. What should we name our big elephant, our, our primary elephant here? I'm curious why this one has a little, like, uh, left shift. Left shift is run. Run into a tree. Terrible with names. We could name him Boots. Oh, there's food in the tree. Run! Yeah. Everyone eat up. Yeah, they're eating. Oh, my elephant is thirsty. We just had so much water. It's weird. It wasn't letting me move forward for a second there. Right click. Hey, well, at least you guys got those emotes. <laughs> uh, the controls on this are a little wacky. Um, it's, like, more based on where the elephant is in space. So if I'm facing... If the elephant is facing towards me and, I'm, and I press W, he moves closer towards me. So if I press D, he'll just like keep going to the right. D is always to the right regardless of orientation. Which I guess makes sense because it's a, it's like the herd, right? It's not just the one. Oh, there's some more food over there. I love this I love the little babies just like trying to swim and keep up. Yes. Come. I assume the goal is to just not die. I that's what I that's what I hope. a good goal. Based on our track record of the last few games we've played, if no one dies, I will be very happy. Middle click. Oh, what? Goal is to not use the dead command of the stream. You are correct. That is the goal. Hey, there's a piece of fruit here. We're trying not to die. Somebody eat this. Someone get it? The baby got it. Perfect. It's it's it feels strange how slow these guys move. All right, and it was middle click. I'm assuming that's a location marker. I'm curious what this what those are. Is that more fruit that just like wasn't eaten? Don't get me started on all the sad games. I'm sorry. I like, I feel bad. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I feel bad for Allie. No, I don't want to make Allie cry.
Yeah, it looks like this is just more fruit that not everybody ate. All right, let's move. <laughs> You're a crier, no worries. Fair enough, Allie. All right, we got those little green patches over there. We got a couple more pieces of fruit here. Please eat, everyone. There's one more. Anybody? Oh my god, they're all just bumping into each other. Okay, there we go. Do you want to take it? Anybody? There we go. Somebody had to take it. I won't just leave food on the ground. Can't have this. I'm curious why it's giving me the indication um, to right click. I assume it's just like the option is there, so they're like, hey, you can press right click. And I'm curious what these little patches are over here. Oh, we can eat that. Okay, that's food. Got it. These guys are so cute. I'm also wondering, like, do I have to manage everybody else's food, or if I just, like, go through and eat everything as, like, the primary elephant, does everyone else also eat? Let's go to this next one. Oh, I was missing the music. So I think we came from up there. So far this has been less stressful than the cat one. Yeah, it's like, the game is really forcing me to take my time with it, which just, it feels weird. It's like, I need to get used to that. Because even just this movement speed, I'm very just like, sluggish. It's like, okay, I'm gonna go to this thing on the other side of the map that's gonna take like, a minute or two. And it looks like just kind of by walking over stuff, they eat it. Okay, so my primary elephant wants some water. What's also weird is like right here, I cannot move. I cannot move my elephant. Oh, it was it was feeding the little one. That's why. Got it, got it. Mm -hmm. 
I guess we'll start moving towards that marker. Taking the pupper out sounds good. Give him a good pat for me. Or her? I think it's a her. Elephants, come! That one seems like it's stuck. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that glide. <laughs> this, this elephant... These elephants are struggling. Alright, let's get to land and then try to like summon them all together, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. This one elephant that's just like gliding around. <laughs> I'm gonna call that one Scooter. Lots of food over this way. This one, I can't get over this one. <laughs> <I'm> so silly. <laughs> Timber. We knocked over a tree. All right. Where's all this food? Baby elephant getting some getting some milk. Aww. Our um our energy or whatever I'm gonna I don't know what to refer to this as is very low. Or it's getting low, it's like half. It doesn't seem to go up when the other elephants are, like, eating stuff. Mm. Maybe I need to go get some more water. Hey, Loof. Welcome in. We're trying to figure out this game. So far, we're taking care of a herd of elephants. So, like, this refreshes that bar, but just, like, really slowly. Maybe it's, like, if I run, it, it uses up all the energy, so it's more of, like, a... You have to conserve as much as possible. Kim is raiding with a party of three. Hello! How are you doing? How is the rest of your game? Um, oh, Allie just stepped out to walk her dog. Let me give you a quick shout out.
Who's good, just running around being puzzled. Fair, fair. All right, we've almost refreshed. Oh, Allie, you're back. I knew you'd stepped out. It's all good. Let's get a little bit more water and then I'm gonna move on. Shelter three, so friggin' much shelter. Yeah, have you played any of the other games in the series? No? Seen them on stream, though? Gotcha. Yeah, I was really excited about this one. I'm still, like, trying to get the hang of it. Like, I, I get that... I use energy when I'm walking around, or, and if I'm running, I use more. And that these guys need food and water. You've never seen this? Looks cool. Yeah, it's it's like survival game. Okay, so there it went up a little bit. It goes up marginally when I eat. It goes up more when I drink. It doesn't seem to go up when the other ones eat. Which is interesting. I thought that I would have to, like, balance all the elephants eating. But maybe I just kind of have to focus on this main one. Not totally sure. I think I'm like right on the edge of the map. I think if I keep going forward, it will load in a new area. Yeah, there we go. Maybe not. There is some stuff over there. Oh, okay. Maybe I was right. What's the goal here? I think it's just to not die. I think it's just to keep all of the elephants alive. Um, gonna grab some food. Sounds good, Kim. All right. Oh my god, there's so much grass. All right, it's a good thing we got a lawnmower here. Lawn mowing herd of elephants. Maybe different types of food will uh, recharge a certain amount. Yeah, we're all still alive. There hasn't been any threats yet. Oh, there's a symbol that actually matches this elephant. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if we have, like, location goals that we have to get to? The Ancestor's Footprints. Yes, I remember this place, Reba. Come closer and see what I see. Oh. 
Is this the origin of the herd? That our one guy over there? I like that the elephant looks like a paper lantern, almost. Yeah, the sky looks really pretty. Like, the art in this game is very interesting. Oh, it's not... It's not a real elephant. I mean, they did say ancestors. path by the lotus lake will lead us west through the misty woods towards the coast. The path towards the banyan tree leads to the great sea of sand. Alright. Well, I'm definitely thinking misty woods towards the coast over the great sea of sand. Do I pick one? Oh yeah, I get to pick one. I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, oh hey, there's more critters. All right, so I guess that's our next goal. All right, I feel like I have a little bit more direction now. Before I felt like I was just kind of wandering, like there was that symbol in the last area, but I didn't know what it meant yet. Oh, our baby is hungry. I just got an achievement. It looks like it doesn't show up on OBS, but I got an achievement for a good mother. It's cute. Aww. Plant. Plants. Oh, look at the deer. So interesting. It doesn't... I'm, I, like... I don't think I have to actually, like, click on things. I, I just kind of walk over them and the elephant just eats them. So it's like, as long as I'm walking over stuff, it'll just slowly recharge my... my stamina as I'm moving. I'm like not ready for there to be threats. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna freak out. There's so much grass. Grass for days. Yeah, not ready for, for threats to show up. But, like, what would eat an elephant? What dangers would an elephant even face? Could eat the babies. You're right, that would be war's nightmare material. 
people. True. That that would take that would take this game to like a really dark turn if it was actually just about poaching. Does this kind of like loop around? I'm like wondering if I should go through here or go around the other way because there's more food that direction. Oh, hungry. Seems like I might have to go that long way just to make sure that there's enough food. I don't know, maybe we'll just stock up now and then go for it. water buffalo hiding in the yeah it looks like little buffalo I like that all the bamboo falls. We're just making a mess. Yeah, yeah we, we figured that one out. Alright, we got a couple of fruit trees. I'm gonna charge at them. Yes. Oh, yeah, like these recharge a lot more. Oh, alright. Like, the energy bar is full. I'm, like, tempted to even just leave this one in case we have to come back through here. I, like, I don't know if this stuff respawns. I'm just gonna leave it. Let's go over to this island. Here I spent many happy young days. Come closer and I'll share what I remember. We're back at memory lane.
That's interesting. I just go right on top of the water here. I guess because it's dreamland. Yeah, it's really pretty. Follow the coast to the west on a path past the heron's nest, or cross the mist north and seek the rock formation that shelters. Hmm. Shelters sounds kind of, kind of good. Some place to rest. But the coast also sounds nice. Hmm. And I do like birds. I do like birds. We're gonna we're gonna do bird path. I'm curious what those little dream sequences are leading up to. If those are just going to be like an overarching story. Where are, we, where are we supposed to go? There. Okay. Or if it just kind of like dictates where you go in this open world setting. Guide, maybe. Yeah, they're happy. Oh, except for the baby. Let's get you out of the water so you can have a drink. I'm still still getting used to the controls a little bit. Let's get some grass. At least it seems like I only really need to worry about myself and and my child. But also, man, this grass does not do much. I think I saw another fruit tree. Yeah, let's make our way over to this fruit tree. This, like, almost doesn't even seem like it's worth the time to try to eat it. Uh, do we 
go let's go to the right what's that music for It's misty now. Oh man, it's all mist. Okay. Everyone stay close. We're very close to the to the bird silhouette, but I want to go get this fruit tree first. Aw, at least the baby's happy. Thank you so much, Kim. I was like, I'm, I was like, what am I waiting for? What, what, what is it? What did I miss? But yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. Um, how do I get through here? I guess I'll go this way. I know I selected the Misty Woods. Maybe what I pick determines like what kind of things show up. I can't get over this elephant. <laughs> His name is Scoot. The music sounds so sinister, but like not not much has really happened yet. It got a little foggy. All right, can't go through there. I hope I haven't gotten us stuck into like an area that there's nothing. Just wanna make sure I can't just walk through this. I assume I can't. Nope. All right, well. I think I have to go back a little bit.
Looks like there might be some fruit that we missed. Scoot! Scoot, you're ruining the immersion. This guy. Man, it seems like... <laughs> this freaking guy. It seems like where you go, where you choose to go in this game, like, really heavily matters. Like, if you take a wrong turn and you commit to it, like, you might not get food for a while. I guess we're gonna follow this kind of like trail of food around. I, th I think that's the best plan. Make sure we have everybody. Did the baby get bigger? I think the baby got larger. Or no, there was a different one. Why are you alarmed? Is that not our elephant? Is that a different elephant? I'm confused. Oh no, that's just Scoot. Alright. Scoot's just doing his thing. I was like hearing these weird noises. I was like, what is it? It looks like we're in like a coliseum. Alright, everybody eat some grass as we walk through here. Very interesting. How do you all feel about um, survival games in general? Do you have a favorite? I can't like, scoot. Scoot, get over here. I've played a handful of, of various survival games. You're terrible with them, you die a lot. I mean... I can't, I can't get over that one elephant. It's the same one, like, each time, too. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I lost the, the cub on, on Shelter, too, so... I am also not great at survival games. Alright, I guess this was the way to go, maybe. I have a feeling that there's going to be something in between here. 
Oh yeah, no, his name, his name is 100% Scoot. There he goes! Come on, bud! Yeah. Just get him... You know, maybe he just has Heelys, like the, the world's largest Heelys. I always wanted those when I was a kid, and that we just like couldn't find them. I enjoy just like waiting for Scoot to get really far away and then just watching him come back. right clicking on. Doesn't seem to really do anything. Bird. Maybe those were the birds from the uh from the memory. Oh, maybe the idea of this is that you're kind of going through the elephant's lifespan and elephants pass down knowledge from one to another and so they like visit places that they've been shown by by their parents and grandparents like in real life. Maybe that's the whole premise of this game is that we're kind of just like running through their lives rather than like a plot. Got our next memory. All right, where are we going next? Listen carefully, Ariva. The road ahead is dangerous. Many before us have been lost on this path. Come closer, I will tell you what I know. Elephants are such amazing creatures in real life. Like, they mourn their dead and visit graves. You're gonna hop off. Um, enjoy the game. Have a good night. Yeah, you have a great night as well, Allie. Thank you um, for the sub. I uh, really, really appreciate it. Um, I will catch you later.
Take the path across the delta towards the driftwood coast. Dangers swim there. Watch the water carefully and move with caution. Or move northeast across the deadly waters to two salt pillars. Finally land uh, and you will find safety. Ooh. Yeah, good night, Allie. Have a great night. Hmm. Let's let's keep going on this this path. Our first threat. You guys, I don't want to lose our our babies. Down we go. I do like that we all always have only one objective. I think that's nice rather than putting like two spots on the map and then you pick which one you go to like you there's less chance that you'll get lost just kind of picking in advance is that a fruit tree yeah let's go get that fruit oh you're thirsty going on. One elephant was alarmed. Stamina. I wonder if there's going to be like seasons in this game. Which way do I go around? This way? You're playing Monster Hunter? You get a customized cat buddy called Palico? You made him look like Harvey and you're very pleased. I can't wait to see. That sounds adorable. I haven't played any of the Monster Hunter games. I feel like they've gotten a lot more popular the last couple of years. Or maybe it's just been more on my radar. Can I not go down here? I don't think I can go down here. Alright, go back around. Not for you, too much grind. Yeah. I know that some of them at least, are, if not all of them, are best multiplayer. And I tend to just not play multiplayer games that, all, that often. Not a bad 
that if I run over I can just grab another apple. Oh, there's alligators. Oh. Okay. We have found the threats. Okay. No, 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 don't turn around. I can't call- No! This game's terrible. Just everybody, everybody get on the beach. I have failed Allie. You, hey, you dummy, get get back on the beach. How are we supposed to get through here? Because I thought I assumed it was like wait until it goes past, but then it just like turned around. Do I just like wait till there's none there? I guess I'll just go here. And I can't run, so I can't like try to just dash through really quick. I am so disappointed. I'm a terrible mom. I got an achievement earlier for being a great mom. It was clearly a lie. Well, uh, I'm sorry to all of you. Uh, I guess we'll get some food. We'll figure out how to loop around. I'm so, I'm so sad. Guess we can go through here. It's a little bit hard to tell where the boundaries are. It's like if it's not flat you can't go there is what it seems like but then some stuff you can climb over. It's a little a little hard to tell. I still just feel like a monster. I'm just I'm just stuck on that. I I feel like a monster. Is it the beach that we're trying to get to?
I didn't think we were gonna lose a baby so soon. It was like the very first threat. They wanted to make sure that I was taking it seriously. We've got two more. All paths from here are perilous and will test us, Riva. Come closer, I'll recount for you the trials that lay ahead. Oh, there we go. Alright, where are we to next? The game has like set the tone. They were like, You thought you thought this was easy at first. We were just that was the tutorial on how to eat. <laughs> To the north lies the great mountain spring high in the clouds, but in the grass creeps a death that cannot be outrun. Move east towards the smoking mountain. Keep listen, for when the striped one roars, you must call the herd close. Ooh, that sounds like tigers. I'm up for- I'm in- I'm into tigers. That sounds fun. Got everybody. All right, and away we go. I wonder what kind of barriers are set up if you try to go somewhere that you're not supposed to go yet. I mean, it still does kind of look like a coliseum, so maybe that just kind of like moves. any trees. Alright, let's take the path with more grass. And I'm ready with the space bar. I will call everyone to me immediately. Well, I don't have to stop to feed my child anymore. There is that. I think that was just the music. to decide if we should go through there. I guess we'll go through there. 
there it looks like there's also a path over that way like how like upbeat and fast the music is I'm like waiting I'm just like listening for the tiger <laughs> it just makes me so tense an elephant. I'm like controlling and leading this herd. Maybe we can't get through here. Maybe I don't I don't know. Um what I've gathered about the story so far in 9. Also welcome in. Hello. Um what I've gathered is that uh we are elephants and we are relying on memories that to lead us where to go. So there's like uh markers and you pick your destinations a little bit um, so when you get to the marker then you get the option between two different paths and you pick one and then that new marker will show up um, so right now we're making our way and the challenge that is before us is tigers which we haven't seen any yet but I I'm afraid. We've already lost one baby uh, to alligators. That sounds like a tiger, but I don't see it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, shit. Ah! Ah! What? We were all grouped together! What? What the hell? I did what the game told me to do. I'm so sorry. I guess we just leave it there. The textures do make it a little tough. Everything is a little bit blended together. Um, Yeah, I was saying earlier that it's a little bit hard to see the, like, boundaries. Oh man, we're like starving all of a sudden. I'm not sure what ate up our stamina so quickly. It's like I can't pick that up. Yeah, we're hungry, but I'm like on top of food. I'm a little confused. Is this, like, not real grass? Is this, like, fake grass? Maybe that's not edible grass. Maybe I've doomed us all. Oh, there's edible grass. I think I doomed us all. I think we're all gonna die. Guys, I'm not very good at this game.
Oh, what? One of the adults probably starved. Our meter went up, strangely. But here's some food. Please eat. See a tiger there. Please eat. No, no, get out, get out, get out of here. Jerk. Oh, maybe, do I have to like bring food to this other elephant? I don't know if I can. Sorry. Oh my god. The other dead baby is over there too. We just have to keep going. We're just, we're going. Where are we trying to get to? This is a nightmare. It's like eating isn't even replenishing my stamina bar. Is this even the right way? That's more barriers that I can't walk through. Looks like they're eating, but they're not. Got a little bit there. Okay, we're back in yellow or uh, in white. Come back here. I think we lost Scoot, which is probably the most depressing part. Scoot added some much needed humor. If there's even one elephant left at the end of this game. I think I'm going to be surprised. Let's go to those fruit trees. Hopefully we will make it. You can still see the body over there. It's so depressing. At least there's no more tigers. Don't you dare. 
No! You guys, this game's rough. Do the colors indicate age? I'm not sure. How many did we start with? We've lost at least three. <laughs> We've lost two adults and two babies. So I guess we had eight. I feel like a monster. All right, at least we got some fruit trees here. Everybody eat up. It also seems like I'm carrying this grass that I don't know if that's intentional or not. Oh, you're on my art Instagram? The Pokemon plushies? I did, yeah. I used to, uh, I used to sew, uh, full-time as, like, um, I did it as my job, just trying to make a living off my art for a few years, and eventually I just kind of got tired of sewing. Um, it kind of, like, ruined it as a hobby for me by just making it work. Um, so now I just kind of do it very occasionally. Alright, we refilled our stamina. That's something. Now we have to figure out how to go back around. Maybe this way. We have to go pass by our, our dead brethren. Bro, if you'd just made it just like another like hundred feet, you would have been fine. It, I think it's like giving me an indication of something to do with this stick, but it, but it won't. It's not doing anything. Or maybe it's just, like, stuff I'm collecting? I don't know. Hey, Mark! <laughs> Who do you watch when both Garlic and I are streaming at the same time? I don't know, man. You pick. I don't think you can go wrong. Hey! Please? Please wake up? Oh, it's okay. I've got a new hobby now. And Allie? <laughs> All three of us? Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, well, if you want to be sad, you can stay in this stream. Uh, because I am losing elephants left and right. It's It's been a nightmare, actually. Um, I, feel, I feel like a failure as an elephant mom. What is it with me in sad games? I don't know. I, it's just that that's that should be my new tagline. That's just it just seems to be my thing. I picked up Outer Wilds though. I'm gonna play that next. You tell me. Is that one sad? Because if it is, <laughs> artsy games be sad a lot. You're tr that that is hundred percent true. The sad emotion is the easiest one to convey. You should stream two, make it four. <laughs> Going up the hill. I don't know if I can stand losing another elephant. Whoa. And we're going up there? If you insist, game.
Mark, are you excited to play more Disco? I know you only played like 30 minutes of it, but I hope you're excited to see more of it. You are awesome. Looks like that's the way to go up. Alright. Don't even know what the game is yet. You know, I, I've i finished the game and I'm still not sure what that game is. But it's something else. You know how Ori would play out within the first 10 minutes. Yeah, it's, yeah, no, that makes a ton of sense. Um, I always get irked when I, when I start a movie or a TV show and you know right away how it's going to end. Up we go. sinking into the environment a little bit. I don't know if that's intentional or bug. This game did launch today, so I, I'd be surprised if there weren't a handful of bugs. Um, Mark, earlier we had an elephant that I named Scoot because he didn't walk at all. Um, like, there was something bugged out with that particular elephant, and so it would just, like, just, just move... <laughs> around without its legs moving. You get the same feeling. Played Ori for an hour or two and felt like you knew exactly how the rest of the game would be. Got bored and stopped. I think I just found the game fun enough that that I was still really eager to play it because I really liked Ori, and but I think that the the art and the atmosphere really carried it. Um, like the movement was also just really fun, but as far as like being super original, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm not sure how I climbed up this entire mountain and was totally fine, but earlier, when I was in the tiger area, all of my stamina was depleted, like, immediately. I don't know if, like, when I call everybody close, if that uses a whole bunch of stamina. Maybe it does. And I just didn't notice. Alright. We have our next decision. Oh. I wasn't quite close enough. Almost. It feels like a talented group of developers were told to make an artsy metroidvania by executives in suits. I can see that. Can you feel them near? Just beyond these ridges, our herd awaits us. Come closer and we'll forge a path together. Was Ori Moon Studios' first game? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> it's 
shamefully that formula works for you. I mean, it kind of works for me, too. A storm is coming, Riva, but we must take it through. Past the ma uh, maze of stone, the rest of our herd awaits. Just looked it up. They've only made two games, Ori in the sequel. Gotcha. Alright, back down the mountain we go. It didn't tell me to watch out for any threats this time, so... I'm still just kind of mad about that. We lost two baby elephants to threats, and then we lost two adults to starvation. <laughs> These elephants are so slow. Not in any hurdy. You don't have- wait, no, Dave, Dave and Garlic aren't here. There's no one here to scold you. You can make all the puns you want. But yeah, they're, they are very slow, and it's obvious that that was like a choice that they made, because like, I can like charge, but it depletes my stamina, and so it's like you will starve if you just run. So I guess it's good that you're never going like all that far. Eat. I also think that this is a bug where I'm holding this this grass here because like I keep eating other things what's up with the music Trunkin' along. But it's interesting that all the threats seem to be pretty predetermined in this game, like, com compared to, um, uh, Shelter 2 where everything was kind of randomly generated, and if you were just, like, in the wrong area at the wrong time, a threat would spawn. I almost feel like I'm missing that in this game a little bit, because when I'm not directly uh, anticipating a threat, I'm just kind of, like, walking, and I'm not really sure what to be nervous about. You're gonna cycle over to Garlic and Alley, maybe back later. Sounds good. Tell them I say hello.
At least my elephants are happy. Uh, I think I need to turn. I think I need to follow this food path. I don't want to get stuck doing what I did last time and get into an area that I can't leave. There's a fruit tree over there, which is nice. speed up a little bit because we got this fruit tree up here so it's all right if we use a little stamina because it'll just replenish get it let's, let's try running at it again Elephant, please. Oh, we're missing somebody for a second. One elephant looks sick or confused. The white one? Yeah, it's always had that symbol. My my guess is that one is like the elder and that that one is the memories that we're learning from. Because that symbol is above uh, whenever we get to our destination is that symbol. Um, but it hasn't been, like, directly, uh, explained. Interesting. This doesn't seem to be depleting our stamina now. 
I'm just a little bit confused on the on the mechanics in general. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think that I lose the game if if the white one dies. Now the stamina is going down. Maybe it's like delayed. We're getting there, I think. The like Colosseum vibes are still very interesting. Like, they could have just done like a, a sky, but they chose to do whatever this texture is. Maybe stamina depletes faster when I have more elephants, too. That would make sense. You just notice that you'd say it seems lazy but there's probably a purpose yeah it's it seems like there's a lot of mechanics here that have a purpose but because I don't understand them it it just seems like weird design um, achievement unlocked the journey is end Riva, we've arrived. See how beautiful it is. Come close now. We, they are waiting. I swear to God, if this is a graveyard... Oh my god, it is. Well, I guess I was right about talking about how elephants go and visit their the graves of their, their fallen family. But also, game! What the fuck? Did the old did we just take the old one here to die? They're all so sad. What? Is this an elephant funeral? This was just the journey to bring our eldest elephant to its gravesite. It's man, it's a good thing that that Allie ducked out early. Allie'd be having a bad time. Oh my god, and then it's all the ones that I murdered.
Yeah, this game was made to hurt, right? Like, okay, so Shelter 2, like, there was the, the chance that you would lose a cub to, like, a threat or something, but there was also just... It, there was the chance that you would lose a cub, but there was the possibility that they would all just grow up and it would be just like, you know, all's well that ends well. But this one, <laughs> this one they were like, you did well on Shelter too. Nah, we're gonna make sure that we're gonna make sure that you suffer on this one. All right. Um, that wasn't. I don't know what I expected. Um. I guess this is what I expected. I knew it was going to be a herd of elephants that you were going to have to navigate through threats. Uh, I think the choice, like giving the player choice of like which path to take was very interesting, but I think it also kind of took away any of the anticipation and um, like risk assessment. Like, in Shelter 2, um, it was open world and you can kind of wander wherever you want, but you knew that any time you were going into a new area, there was a th there was a chance of a new threat to spawn. So you had to, like, constantly be vigilant of what your surroundings were. And here, I was just always looking forward. Um, I was, like... Because I would get a heads up. They would be like, hey, there's going to be tigers in the next area. You can... You can prevent losing uh, losing one of your elephants by effectively by pressing spacebar when you hear a tiger um, and this and similar with the alligators where you just kind of had to dodge them I don't know but you knew they were there you knew they were coming there wasn't any point where I was surprised um, except for maybe like making sure everybody was fed but that's just kind of like normal survival elements yeah I don't know how I felt about this one I, I might come back to it at some point but probably like on my own time and I, I probably wouldn't stream it again um, I'm curious where these other routes go and like what the other threats are um, maybe because of the way the game was gonna end they didn't want you to have too much anxiety that's possible yeah they I guess it had to be a very linear story a linear path because you end at a specific place. So it has to get you there somehow. Um, yeah, as, as opposed to Shelter 2, where you can just kind of wander until the game kind of ends. Elephant voice talent. Bemo, Ellie, George, Nat, Quincy. Any ideas about the symbols representing the destinations? My guess is like constellations, like a kind of like a take on constellations. Um, Shelter 2 had a lot of constellations. But very short credits. Not a lot of people worked on this game. It's a very small team, that's for sure. I did like how it had a bit more of a narrative compared to Shelter 2. And I think once the bugs get ironed out a little bit more when they patch it, I assume they're going to have a patch soon. Yeah, the menu screen is nice. Like, this game is very pretty. Um, but yeah, having that just, like, one elephant that just, like, couldn't move its legs and so it was just, like, gliding everywhere. <laughs> it was just so goofy. <laughs> But I assume that'll get that'll get fixed relatively soon. Well, yeah, two hours. That's that's about what I was expecting. That's about how long uh, uh, Shelter Two was. Let's see who we can raid. I think I think I'm good for tonight. I don't want. I don't think I want to run through this again right now. 
Um, I don't know if my, my heart can take it. It's too many sad games recently. Let's take a look. Uh, it's pretty despite the simplicity of the textures, probably also why they had such a small team, didn't need too many people. Yeah, um, the, the like polygon look is very different. I feel like I haven't seen another game that looks like this. Um, oh, we have so many... So many people to pick from. Let's go say hi to Allie. Playing Rise of the Tomb Raider. Thank you for the GG's, Orc. And thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the, uh, for the sub. I really appreciate it. Y'all made me feel so nice and special, despite how frazzled I was. I'm so sorry that the um, that the emotes weren't working. I'm I'm still just so disappointed about that because it it looks all fine on my end, and then they're just like not there, and it, it's probably just an approval thing, which is lame. But all right, let's go say hi to Allie and show her some love. Have a great night, everybody. Oh, and Nine, thank you so much! Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Have a great night. Take it easy.